The aspects I have described for you so far are just the very beginnings of what a natural product has to go through on what is a long road to becoming a pharmaceutical drug. In fact, the stage that I was just, have just shown you in, in the laboratory is commonly referred to as basic research. We we'll tend to not even refer to it as drug discovery until later stages when we have more information about our natural products. If our natural product looks promising, it will next proceed through a series of in-lab experiments and pre-clinical examinations to assess whether there are any safety concerns. This process includes testing in animal models of the disease being examined. We also look, have to look at issues around supply, so we may need to come up with synthetic methods for generating natural products so we can access it in larger quantities. The drug delivery method will also be explored. For example, are we going to be able to give a natural product drug to someone as a tablet, or will it have to be given as an injection? If our natural product clears these hurdles, we will then move into clinical trials in humans. This process assesses how the natural product travels through our bodies and its stability in our bodies, as well as whether it will cause any side effects or harm to a person that weren't picked up in earlier tests. The natural product will then be reviewed by each country's equivalent Food and Drug Administration Agency and hopefully be given approval, approval for use. The natural product drug will then be continually monitored as it is used in the wider population. Overall, this process has been found to take a minimum of 10 years and is usually longer. The average cost to develop a successful drug over that time is $2.6 billion. The overall, overall success rate of drugs making it through the pipeline is estimated to be 12%. Unfortunately, the costs of failed drugs need to be incorporated into the costs of successful drugs in order for pharmaceutical businesses to recruit their expenses. This is where we, we can see conflict between affordable medicines and businesses, even large ones, being able to function. While long and costly, the purpose of this process is to protect us from the use of drugs that may cause serious side effects or even death, and to ensure they have a high enough success rate for them to be justified in being sold as treatments for diseases.